I immediately passed out. I there was no uh, there was no thoughts. Like as soon as it entered my bloodstream, it it knocked me out immediately. It's no surprise that the fentanyl crisis is also affecting Americans who suffer from substance abuse disorder. Back in 2020, the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration did a survey and found that 40 million Americans are living with a drug addiction. And here's where fentanyl comes in. It's so potent and cheap to produce that drug dealers are adding it to most illegal drugs like heroin, cocaine, meth, and prescription pills. So people addicted to those drugs are also dying from fentanyl overdoses. But sometimes they're lucky. They survive. In April, I overdosed on fentanyl three times, and um, it was because I did not know it was in the drugs that I was using. And what drugs were you? Um, I was using meth and heroin. It feels really good to say that I am alive and it feels feels like freedom. I think it's just important that we keep these addicts alive until they get to a place where they are ready for help. So just like it's so important that we keep them alive because every person is special. You know, they're loved by someone. So a life lost, even if they're an addict, is a tragedy. If I could have stopped, I would have um, years ago. I mean, it's, it's absolutely destroyed everything that I've ever, ever loved. And um, I've come back from that um, and I've been able to regain the things that I love. Anywhere you go, you know someone who knows someone who knows someone who's being affected by this addiction. So yes, it is it's everyone's problem. We're very happy to tell you that Anna's doing well. She's working towards getting her bachelor's degree in social work. She wants to use her education and her own experience to help people with substance abuse disorder. Up next, you're going to see how the DEA and the state of Texas are fighting fentanyl.